Best known for his monumental textured paintings, German artist Anselm Kiefer's encrusted surfaces confront themes of memory, history, identity, and culture. Born in 1945, Kiefer's paintings portray the post-war landscape of his time and reflect on somber themes from the Holocaust and Nazi rule. The surfaces of his paintings are just as covered with layers of lead, broken glass, straw, and dried flowers as they are with oil paint. With each layer built, the surface becomes thicker and thicker with an impasto effect, adding to the depth and turmoil of his imagery. The materials are not disguised, but are meant to be seen and known for what they are within the painting. This is a modern spin on Kiefer's war-torn landscapes, using clean, found, discarded objects, such as plasticware, wrappers, bubble wrap, egg cartons, paper scraps, soda pop tabs, and even bread ties. Just about anything you can find in a recycling bin. And then attaching the objects to a canvas board. The objects collaged onto the canvas can be used in an illustrative way through their unique textures. To enhance this effect, the surface is then coated in black gesso and color is added in the form of chroma molten metal acrylic paint, giving it a final layer of luminosity to the finished piece. In this way, students can explore the use of texture in painting while reflecting on the significance of our impact as humans on the landscape through the production of waste materials, while also creating a beautiful painting. Today's landscape is one filled with discarded packaging, from gum wrappers and fast food wrappers found on urban sidewalks, to remote beaches with washed up plastic bottles. Our environment is increasingly impacted by human consumption. To start, begin with a large and varied selection of discarded materials. Students may start with a few ideas either sketched out or written down in words. This will help direct them in their material search. Arrange materials on the surface of the canvas, but refrain from gluing down at first. Encourage students to play with different materials and compositions before settling on the final structure of the image. More advanced students can even create larger and more complicated layered works. They could even conduct research on a specific geographical area affected by human waste and reflect on the impact specifically in the objects chosen for their collage. It's also good to note there's no reason a collaged element has to be contained within the canvas board. Allow the pieces to come off the edge, adding another element of surprise to the composition. Once the final positions are decided, begin gluing to the canvas board. I'm using Aileen's Quick Dry Tacky Glue because it is thick enough to hold most plastics and, well, it dries quick, true to its name. I have found some plastics, like an extra slick bottle cap perhaps. They may have some trouble adhering to the canvas surface. In this case, a glue gun will do the trick. When the glue has dried, use Utrecht Artist Acrylic Gesso in black to coat the surface. Now, it's not necessary to coat the already primed panel, but the collaged objects will need one or two coats in order to accept the acrylic paint well. When the gesso is fully dry and cured, usually within about 24 hours, then acrylic paint can be used to pull the whole composition together. The final piece can be hung for display as is or mounted on a mat board framed in a shadow box, or even in a regular frame, without the glass or plexi covering, of course, to accommodate the dimension of the collage. Well, I really hope you enjoy making your very own trash landscape, inspired by Anselm Kiefer. For a full list of materials, as well as a free lesson plan PDF, 
go to dickblick.com lesson plans. While you're there, be sure to check out our other hundreds of free lessons and videos.